The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Carson Newman's 2016 roster features 16 seniors. The defense is filled with young talent, while the offense is looking to replace seven starters from a year ago. For first-team all-conference offensive lineman Austin Lewis, there may be new players on his side of the ball, but not inexperienced. What's crazy is, is Noah came in with me my freshman year, so I've really I've known Noah for the last four years now, and I've always said that once this kid gets a shot, he's going to be good. He's going to be great, honestly. He, he's got a cannon on him. I mean, he, he's, he's come in, and he's taken all the second-string snaps when, when Dre was here, and, I mean, some of those other guys have rotated in and played games, so it's not like they're new or, like you said, they're veterans, but, I mean, they, some of them had game experience. The intrigue on the defensive side of the football stems from a new defensive coordinator. Larry Slade will lead a unit that expects to start five underclassmen. Senior all-conference corner Jason Williams has been an emotional leader since arriving on campus and is looking forward to the challenge. You know, in the secondary, we're pretty young. Uh, me and Jerry are the older guys, and, you know, we're, we're going to have two freshmen starting in the, uh, you know, one freshman starting as a corner and one freshman starting as a safety. And just for me personally, as, as, as far as, you know, greater than just a verbal leader, you know, just being an example of, you know, what our expectations are and, and uh, what we got going on here and just how to do things. One player on the roster that's appreciative of an opportunity to play is first team all-conference offensive lineman Dan Gallman. He tore his ACL in the spring and received an eye-opening lesson of how important going through the intricacies of football is to him. When you're like me and you were, you've been playing for so long, you've been playing in all these games, it just kind of molds together and you don't really think about it. And then when that injury happened, it was just like, oh, my football career might be over. And luckily with Dr. Repay and the training staff, I'm able to come back. And it really, like during that whole time out, I was like looking at Austin lead the guys and all those guys run. And I was just like, man, I want to be out there so bad. Like it made you realize how much you love football. And uh, so coming back into it, it's like I really get to embrace those this last year and those last plays because you never know when you might tear your ACL again at any play. It would be easy to look at the season as a whole for any senior, but Lewis understands that each second can be crucial to the team's success. It's kind of one of those things is you got to take it play by play, I mean practice by practice, day by day. It's just got to don't really look towards the future because then you'll miss it. All the like little experiences that you have in practice where Chris Turner will say something funny about one of the newer guys or we we score on a out of 32, which is just a, dry, a dive up the middle. I mean, it's just one of those things that you, you will, you'll miss if you just kind of look towards the future and expect to go to the playoffs. So you just got to take it every step of the way. While play on the football field will be etched in the record books, Gallman believes the 2016 senior class will be defined by what they do off the turf. To make a difference, uh, whether it be on the field with our teammates or whether it be for the fans or whether it be for our community. Uh, I feel like those teams that stand out the most are those championship teams, but it's also those teams that had a great impact on the community, whether it be people from Jefferson City, the student body, faculty, just guys that make other people's days better by being around them. Williams summed up the feeling of all of the seniors by saying that it hasn't hit him yet. Knowing that there is 11 guaranteed football games on the schedule this year, the cornerback emphasized that this team will take advantage of every opportunity they get to cement their legacy. For the Ken Sparks Show, I'm Michael Watrang.